Although this is not a spring chicken. Yeah, it's great. Back out at the beach today. Yes! But you know, world around, or news around the world cannot be, shall we say, more exciting than, well, let's just say, European markets are on the verge of meltdown. Able to beat out the health of the walk bus, and the walk bus for walk office, and of course, Obama has plans for job growth. Oh, yes, just wait till you hear this one. But for now, we'll bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. <laughs> <laughs> and the right and the left are cheering Obama's latest job proposal. I mean, they had never hear, they they all agreed they had never heard anything as brilliant as this before. Obama <laughs> is proposing we extend the unemployment, uh, unemployment security for all the people who are currently unemployed, which he says aren't unemployed because every week the figure goes down for you again. He wants to give, uh, uh, he wants to in, uh, insure all of those people that have lost their insurance because they've lost their job, which they have according to him. He also wants to create green energy jobs, which would help to put 2 million people back in. And the biggest proposal that he's had of all of those, he wants to rebuild the infrastructure of our nation uh, with an infrastructure state, with infrastructure bank. And everybody saying they've never heard this before. This is finding a threat the United States has got off the ball. And, oh, and then they said, well, isn't that what he said in 2008 when he was running for re-election? Re they, they said, no, he didn't say that in 2008. He said this. They said, but isn't that it? No, he didn't say it that way. Oh, he said he said the same thing, but different. He said the same thing, but different. And Democrats proposing that the stock market be put into the hands of the government for the benefit of the people. Oh, yeah. They said that, uh, that the people are stealing too much money. They're doing, they're causing this problem to happen. This problem to happen. Everybody knows that last week was because of uh, computer trading. Computer trading was not done by billionaires and millionaires. It was done by some guy probably making eight bucks an hour, mm -hmm. you know, pushing buttons on things. that said when the figure goes to this figure, that's when you sell. Mm -hmm. they, if you put it back in the hands of people and out of the hands of computers, you don't have sell-offs like they do. And Obama stuck in 2008 and hasn't a clue. He has been doing... Uh, um, he hasn't a clue that nothing he has been doing is working. Uh, this morning he said, I've created, I have created two million jobs in the private sector in the last 17 months. The problem is nobody can find them. Okay, uh, work it this way. You've never had more than 115,000 jobs created in any one month. 17 times 115,000 doesn't come to two million. How are you doing? Wow. You know, if you just figure uh, one million, maybe one million, maybe two, three, but his... Oh, I think it's still quite remarkable. I mean, I can show you. Oh, okay, here's how the, a Democrat counts to one. <laughs> get the one. So and you can one, guess where that the was. Democrats mind it probably does amount to two million. And how Bush and the Republicans took the U.S. to the brink. Uh, I know. Uh, uh, because, uh, don't worry, the, they're going to take, Bush is going to be removed from office in the next election, and they're going to take the House and Senate and give Obama all three branches of the government so that he can change the things that Bush is doing. An ex-Minnesota governor, Tim Pawlenty, ends his White House bid. He never had a chance, folks. I mean, this guy, he looks like a, okay, he wouldn't, he flat out knew that Franklin illegally won the election in Minnesota and did nothing to stop it. As governor of the state, he could have instigated a criminal investigation. Which makes he him not real popular in his own state. Oh, I know. I mean, the guy is not popular anywhere. And then he attacks the Tea Party. You know, they're doing, they, they've caused nothing. But, I mean, who does he think is going to get him elected, folks, if you attack the people that basically have the most influence on this and refocusing on the economy, Obama sets a Midwest job tour. Oh yeah, he started that this morning and he, he broke all of this news. I mean, I heard the people over on um, MSNBC dancing on the top of their table. We have never heard such brilliance from a president in our life. Never have we heard a man come forth with such concrete proposals to put people to work with. I'm being facetious, folks. They were saying it's the same Okay, I won't say the word, but one of them said it's the same BS that they've been getting since I'm going to focus on the economy, on the economy and jobs, which he's saying the same thing, but haven't worked yet.
And now that the public knows how extreme Bush is and the Republicans, they expect people to vote for hope and change that Obama offers. Do you understand that today's news all happens to be of the people on the left-wing press laughing at the press of the United States? These are their headlines. <laughs> oh, really? And they're totally laughing at him. They're, and, you know, I've heard Bill O'Reilly on the right who worships the ground repeatedly saying no one would dare in the Democratic Party stage a challenge to him. Kerry's going to stage a challenge to him. Probably, um, they're looking at, they're all saying the same thing. If we don't elect Hillary, this wouldn't be going on. And we've got going on. I'll tell you what, Hillary now has a good chance. Yeah, they're not going to support Obama. The black, okay, the, the black Americans, what has Obama done for us? We've given them the highest unemployment rate in the nation and put our skilled workers out of work. They, they're, a lot of the United Auto Workers that got fired are all black. Ooh, and we're poorly placed to meet new economic crisis. Yeah, because, uh, well, here's the thing. Well, our market is going crazy today, going up on people buying businesses or buying other businesses because the stock market will tank. They're on the verge of a meltdown all over Europe, and they, uh, the Chinese government is basically downsizing. I, I know anybody that believes that they're going to the believes everything that the president tells you. Like, I've saved or created more than really And Pakistan let China access bin Laden raid a stealth chapter. Okay, uh, we're called in, in more, it's just, uh, more incompetence upon incompetence upon incompetence. You don't leave the bloody thing there for people to be able to, to, to find. So, you know, they, they left it. They didn't you destroy it entirely. They destroyed it nothing. And Tea Party fortunes are fading, even as its star Michelle Bachman shines. Uh, well, okay, first of all, the Tea Party is not going to, they're not going to get anybody elected to the Republican Party to want to cut the They said that you got to understand that, uh, that R Romney is known for spending, Perry is known for spending. Those are the two people at the top of the ticket. They're going to put somebody in that, uh, as a member of the old boys club. So, there's probably going to be a third party this year. They said that the likelihood is one in four that a third party will finally take the presidency of the United States this year, which is more than the best chance that it's ever been given. And Japan intervenes to tame the yen. Oh, yeah. Well, oh, here's a good one. I love this. They totally missed their expectations, their downsized expectations on growth of the economy. The yen started to have a problem. So the bank basically printed up money to fix the problem and the market rose over the fact that they missed their bet they missed their expectations by two whole percentage points. they did bad and they're, they're growing like we are they're not and u.s regulators probe mazda suv brake warranty claims yeah because they're not okay let's put it this way virtually nobody honored the warranty they did for mine i, I know but most people don't there's the exception to the rule because basically she's cute and she goes in and they like her. So. <laughs> and service sector growth slowest since 2010. Uh huh. That's SEIU folks. Oh, that's is that what that is? Them, and they're laying them off by the kind of because nobody is going on vacation. They're not going out to eat. Hospitals are downsizing because of Obama. All the things that the people that the SEIU do are being and they didn't get to unionize all of these businesses in the federal government because uh, they're going to do heavy unionization in the FAA. That got stopped because they're going to deny the FAA money. And protests across Israel against the high cost of living. I mean, it doesn't make any difference. Uh, what happens is they have a lot of uh, a lot of people that come from social life states and they expect that Israel should be like the social life state. No. Israel is a capitalist society, it's not a socialized country. And Moody sets a negative outlook on BNY and JP Morgan. Yeah, because they're not they're, uh, they're basically they're all heavily invested in areas that are losing money. Morning of uh, you know it, it must be Monday because the housing industry took a setback today. Wednesday the housing industry is roaring on on you know, following there afterwards is nothing but down news. Wednesday, they're going to reevaluate. They're going to have record sales Wednesday. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, 
there are there are two times in a male's life when the male basically goes gaga over females and doesn't know what to do. Once when they're very young, 